good morning so we are continuing the lesson training in sports and we have uh, discussed about the strength and methods of developing strength in previous video now the endurance endurance we have discussed the type of endurance in previous video now we are discussing the methods to develop endurance in this video we will discuss about endurance and speed so methods to develop endurance there are the methods like continuous training method which is divided further slow continuous training method and fast continuous training method and second is interval training method and third is fat leg training method these are very important because endurance is highly required in the sports activities and we need to know about the endurance and we should develop it so first we will discuss about the continuous training method so continuous training method exercise is done for long duration without taking rest that is continuous training method by the name we can understand so whatever activity we are doing we are doing for long time of period without taking any rest and intensity of exercise is low this we will discuss here intensity of exercise because continuous training method it involves low intensity exercises for long period of time without a rest or break a performer normally perform continuous training for a minimum of 20 minute in the aerobic training and heart rate is maximum 60 to 80% for example continuous training workout could be a 30 minute run at 60% heart rate maximum adjusting a place of effort of the activity can be vary the exercise intensity for example instead of running at 60% heart rate the increased heart rate of 60% or 70% so continuous training means taking part in physical activities such as jogging running swimming or cycling for an extended period of time without any rest because we are developing the ability of working for longer duration of time without taking any rest so intensity of exercise is low because when we keep intensity of exercise is higher so definitely we get tired easily and quickly so definitely if we are working for longer duration we are developing the endurance so we need to do work in a slower rate and for longer duration that helps to develop the endurance the heart rate during the exercise for a sports man remains between 140 to 160 beats per minute and i want to tell you that while we are doing a fast activities high intensity activities and fast so the heart rate goes near about 240 beats per minute so this we have to keep in mind because when we are doing the endurance training when we are taking endurance training so definitely 
the heart rate should be kept between 140 to 160 beats per minute. For fast continuous training method, the heart rate is should be kept in this uh, 140 to 160 beats per minute. For fast continuous training method, heart rate is increased up to 175 to 180 beats per minute also. Slightly it can increase or decrease but we are not exceeding it so much because we are developing endurance. So while we are developing endurance so we need we need to practice the sufficient supply of oxygen to the body. Second is that is method to develop endurance that is continuous training method that we have discussed. Now it is endurance, the interval training method. Sorry, interval training method in which by the name we can understand there is the interval very effective for developing endurance for track runners. The track runners like the running activities which are performed over the track, short distance races, middle distance races and long distance races. Intervals are given to the athlete in between the repetition for complete recovery. Interval training is an extremely potent training training technique that will improve your endurance racing performance especially in racing performances it also widely avoided by recreational endurance athlete because many consider it too complex too too hard this should not be the case an endurance athlete, runners, cyclists and swimmers of all level can utilize this mode of training to significantly improve their fitness and competition performances. It involves period of exercises or work followed by period of rest. It is effective at improving cardiovascular fitness, muscular endurance, speed, recovery, recovery times and lactate threshold that we have discussed in previous uh, video also. The lactic acid tolerance. So this is based on the formula of workout, rest workout rest workout rest so it helps to develop the endurance highly the recovery period vary from person to person heart rate should go up to 180 beats per minute and the rate comes down to 120 to 130 beats per minute again the repetition and work starts so then limit is the heart rate that is 180 maximum. Training load should be given again after checking the heart rate, rate of athlete, activity is done in the form of active rest, activity, activity should be there then active rest is there. Active rest means can you understand active rest means during the rest we are not taking the complete rest during the activity we are doing that like cooling down activity cooling down activities or slowing down the activities so this is the base in the formula of rest and recovery means then activity rest activity rest activity rest so rest means recovery this is not the rest that we are taking complete rest. So 
this is the interval training method now we will see the fort leg training method fort leg training method this is very significant very special training uh, kind of training method fort leg is a swedish word that means speed so that's why it is also known as speed play speed play or speed training so blend continuous training and interval training also athlete plan his own place fort leg as it is a swedish word in this type of training method the speed of the activity is vary so that it is both aerobic and ana anaerobic energy systems are stressed this could involve periods of sprinting jogging walking or could include uphill downhill and flat running due to the nature of this different intensities this type of training is useful for improving cardiovascular fitness muscular endurance speed recovery times and lactate threshold lactate threshold means the amount of lactic acid secreted at site of muscle and tolerance power means how the muscles are tolerating the secretion of the lactic acid this is often a more demanding from more demanding form of training compared to continuous training due to the higher intensity so heart rate vary between 140 to 180 minutes per minute uh, beats per minute duration of training depends upon the athlete but minimum 45 minutes it can vary from aerobic walking to anaerobic sprinting warm up in the beginning and cooling down at the end involves varying varying pace throughout run alternating between fast and slow pace one more thing is very common in the training we use a variety of natural beds like hot leg training i can give you example that if we are starting this training we want to run from one place to another and this is plain place and another is uh, hill place and we have given the target we have to run from here to the that place and during this time we can use any kind of natural bed we can run through the soil or the land we can run over the uh, uh, wooden area we can run over the sand we can run over the uh, you know hill area we can take uh, find the uh, select the shortcuts or we can swim if there is the river sometimes the people think that during they are deciding to take shortcut so they decide that they are not climbing over the mountain or hill and then coming down rather than they can swim the, they can cross the river by swimming anything can be used but the person has to reach to the given point in a given time so we can use very a variety of natural beds there is no supervision we can take rest we can run we can walk anything whatever we are doing that depends on us but we have to reach to the destination in a given time so this training is very beneficial because it develops the creativity also creativity means that 
we use our own what we are going to do so the we can see here the now we have discussed all the three training methods continuous training method interval training method and fort lock training method so continuous training method increase advantage and disadvantage we are discussing here increase glycogen in muscular liver muscular and liver because as we know liver stores maximum of the glycogen increase the number of number and size of mitochondria increase the efficiency of heart and lungs and intensity can be increased for better result continuous training method this is there the advan disadvantage of continuous training method is there then sometime the person lose interest interval training method we can see more workout can be performed in short duration more beneficial for respiratory and circulatory system progress of the athlete can be measured easily athlete achieves his peak performance in a short period interval training method is very good for all the athlete disadvantages are there more chances of injuries because interval training method then sometime the mode of taking rest can cause difficulties regular training can lead to heart diseases top performance comes before competition fort lock training method the advantages are there improves cardiovascular endurance good for aerobic and anaerobic fitness makes the body versatile a number of athlete can make can take part stimulant disadvantages are there difficult to judge the training effort because there is no supervision at all may cause accident appropriate check on training cannot be mentioned one more disadvantage is there that is the missing the direction sometimes the person is moving from one place to another so they may uh, forget the direction where they are they have to reach so that's why this fort lock training is also known as the training during the off season off season training because while you have competitions so that time this training is not preferred fort lock training is not preferred when the person has to take part in any kind of competition this is only when the person is in off season he can perform this he or she can perform this kind of training because this training can cause the that is the disadvantage is that is the misplacing means the person forget the direction he or she can reach somewhere else than the destination so it can take take time to find him out so that's why this training is known as the off season training so this is about the now we'll come to the speed another very uh, important and uh, another component of the physical fitness that is speed definition type and method to develop speed so we will discuss here about the acceleration run and the pace run method so first we will see about the definition definition of the speed is it is ability or capacity of an individual to perform the movement of the same pattern at faster rate so because 
the distance moved by an object is in a specific time is known as speed so it is scientifically it is known as speed equal to distance upon time that is the scientific formula for the speed is that is speed is distance upon time distance is divided by the time so we can know about the speed the thesis and scanep that define the speed speed is the performance prerequisite to do motor actions under given conditions the conditions are there moment task external factors and individual prerequisites in minimum amount of time speed is the capacity of individual to perform successive movement of the same pattern at the fast rate faster rate so the ability or capacity of an individual to perform the movement of the same pattern at faster rate different sports skills require different type of fast movement and quick reactions speed depends on heredity factor especially on type of muscle fibers one has that muscle fiber we all know we have wide twist muscle fibers and slow twist muscle fiber and fast twist muscle fiber wide muscle fibers and red muscle fibers so type of speeds we will see here first is reaction ability simple reaction ability and complex reaction ability second is acceleration ability moment of speed locomotor ability and speed endurance these are the type of the speed we will discuss these all one by one the reaction time reaction time the ability of the body or body muscles to react quickly to the stimuli or signal or situation in order to perform action in speed it is that ability of an individual to react effectively and quickly to the signal reaction ability is the ability to react quickly effectively to a signal both the abilities play an important role in several games and sports but it is very difficult to find out in which sports which type of ability is required but where whenever we are practicing the for the speed so we have to develop all these component therefore scholars has attempted to compare the reaction and balance ability among contact semi contact and non contact sport person so simple reaction ability that is it is ability to react quickly determined manner to a known signal mean we know the signal and how we are reacting to the signal for example the reaction of the racer in start of the sprint race is already known to a racer so racer know how to start before the race so that is known as the reaction time or reaction ability second type of reaction ability that is complex reaction ability it has an ability to give a quick but accurate reaction to a sudden or an unexpected signal for example a bouncer deliver delivered by a bowler in cricket we, we have seen a drop or a smash hit by opponent in badminton player that is unexpected and we have to react it 
so simple reaction ability and complex reaction ability we can understand simple reaction ability we know the rules how to start how to react the signals like there will be whistle or any sound before starting any race get set go then at the go we have to leave so then we know how we have to react at the get how we have to react at the set and how we have to react at the go that is simple reaction ability because already the rules are there so complex reaction ability in which we don't know when and how we have to react this is like smash is coming in volleyball smash is coming in case of badminton in this type of sports in goal like football when the ball is coming towards the goal goalkeeper has to be ready because we don't know which time and where how we have to react that this comes suddenly suddenly we have to react so reaction ability is very good because if you are reacting very quickly then our performance will be very good second is speed of movement this is the ability of body that we can see here the speed of movement this is the ability of the body muscles to move in faster rate to perform the particular movement for a specific time in this the speed of movement that is also known as the how we are starting initially this is also known as initial velocity or initial motion we are giving to the body or to the work whatever we are doing so this decides about a difference at the end so speed of movement we can understand like the runners are running in sprinting they have to leave their place at the acceleration that that is the reaction time they have to lap from the position and in which speed they are starting it is known as speed of movement the ability of the muscle or the body in which rate they are performing the particular movement so that is very important second is then then after that that is the acceleration ability acceleration ability the ability of the body or body muscles to increase the speed quickly or rate of movement according to the need acceleration acceleration we can the word that is accelerate that there are accelerators are there in bike and cars and uh, other vehicles by which these accelerators are have the work of increasing the speed so that's why the acceleration ability means how we are have we can increase the speed quickly the ability to quickly and efficiently get a full speed is known as acceleration also a vector quantity in the rate at which an object change its velocity or motion speed of motion the most obvious way that you could accelerate would be change speed from 30 miles per to 40 miles per the speed can be accelerated according to the ability of the individual the mechanical factors important for field sports acceleration have not been established in the scientific literature but the purpose of this study 
was to determine the biochemical biomechanical factors the purpose of the study was determined by the biochemical and biomechanical factors of the individual the different the, the, the different kind of activities are there in the sports and athlete can increase accelerate their ability of the performance according to their practice or their training so the acceleration ability means how we can speed up because the speed is known as the performing the activities in the faster rate the ability of body to accelerate the motion quickly when required sprint short distance races are very good example of the speed this this activity so then we will see the sprint we can see where the acceleration ability is highly required how we can accelerate the speed then there is the speed endurance speed endurance it is we have discussed also the endurance ability during the speed this is the ability of the body or muscle to maintain the desired speed for a specific time duration speed plus endurance means speed should be there and we can maintain it for longer time duration or desired time duration it is the combination of speed and endurance to perform good in speed activities without any fatigue without any tiredness we must perform these activities without any tiredness or delaying the tiredness example marathon cross country races long duration activities long duration races or th all the games which have the which are played for prolonged time of period another one is that is locomotive ability So this is the physical action that propel an individual from one place to another by the word locomotion means we are displacing ourselves from one place to another this may mean moving forward backward and even upward using certain skills and this skill is required while we are performing any activity and the end of the activity that when we are going to finish so this locomotive ability is helps us to cover maximum distance or to perform little more so like walking running jumping hopping these are the various examples of the locomotive ability after when we reach to the topmost level of the speed then we have maintained it that is the speed endurance then after that when we are coming down we are not coming down quickly we are coming down slowly gradually by performing certain type of actions in certain type of performance we are doing while we are coming down while we are bringing the speed down that is known as the locomotive ability the example we can see here the picture we can see here locomotive ability while we are coming down to the rest so the we will see here then the methods of developing the speed so 
so methods of developing the speed we will discuss here the first is the acceleration ability acceleration run acceleration run it is used to develop speed indirectly by improving explosive strength technique flexibility and movement frequency it is the ability to increase speed from jogging running and finally sprinting it depends on explosive strength frequency of movement and technique to attain maximum speed from a stationary position this is practiced after learning proper technique first of all we should target to sprint at slow speed slowly and steadily we should increase our speed day by day after having a lot of practice done we should continue with the acceleration run an athlete is supposed to run a specific distance as fast he or she can in order to win the race he or she should attain maximum speed in minimum time and retain that speed till the end of the race so it is ability of the sprinter to achieve high speed from a stationary position for direct improvement of acceleration speed a sprinter should do 25 to 30 meter sprint in 6 to 10 minutes 10 times the maximum speed should be achieved within 5 to 6 second sufficient interval should be provided between the repetition means acceleration ability we how we can accelerate how we can accelerate the maximum speed within very less time that is the acceleration run that is the another the training type of training is acceleration run second is pace run pace run means running a whole distance with a constant speed generally 800 meter and above races are included in pace run pace races an athlete can run a distance of 100 meter at full speed but in longer races such 800 and above he must reserve his energy for reducing the speed because we can't run in a high speed for longer duration of time a competitive pace race is a timed race in which the objective is not to finish in the least time but to finish within the prescriptive prescribed time and in the best physical condition in some races the prescribed time is very narrowly defined and the winner is the competitor who finished closest to the prescribed complete recovery is ensured between two repetition this means to running the whole distance of a race at a constant speed definitely in this the athlete runs the race with uniform speed so pace we have to set pace means that is speed that we have to set the pace run means according to the distance and given time we have to set the pace so this is about the speed activities and how to develop uh, what is the speed and how we can develop the component of the physical fitness speed so now next we will discuss about the flexibility in the next video